The Westie is one of the short-legged terriers, running 10 or 11 inches tall and 14 to 20 pounds in weight. They are stocky little dogs, but quite fast and agile. West Highland White Terriers are immediately identifiable by their dense, harsh white coats. These are fairly short coats, but tough enough to push through brambles and harsh enough to shed dirt easily. The coat needs to be clipped or hand-stripped to work out the dead undercoat. The white color helped their guardians to see them in the fields and distinguish them from the prey they were hunting. Despite the white coat color, these dogs are not albinos. They should have dark pigment around the eyes, mouth and nose. The ears are prick and the tail moderate in length and sturdy. The sturdy tail is used to haul the dogs back out of underground burrows when they pursue their prey. Westies are typical terriers. They are smart, independent, and a little stubborn. Obviously they are tough, determined little dogs to be willing to go underground after a fox or badger. This can make them of a handful to train, and much patience and firmness is in order. They are lively and fun dogs, but do not always feel the need for human direction. Again, showing the terrier temperament, Westies are not always good with other dogs that they have not been raised with and can be dangerous around other small house pets such as bunnies. As befits their heritage, they have a tendency to be nuisance barkers and serious diggers. Terriers in general are easy dogs to keep, bred to exist on scraps and their own hunting skills. Too much indulging in rich treats can lead to a very heavy dog. These are hardy little dogs, often living well into their teen years. All Westies should be socialized early and continuously, especially to other dogs and to other pets. These are dogs still close to their roots of hunting and do best with plenty of exercise. Left to their own devices, they will excavate your yard and bark while doing so. Westies are alert and will alarm bark to defend their homes and families. Terriers in general should start training as soon as possible and with creative and positive methods, backed up by a firm hand. West Highland White Terriers do well at many dog sports including obedience, agility, and earth dog trials. They enjoy human company, but you must socialize them to children and insist they accept handling and grooming. Grooming can be as simple as having the dog clipped a couple of times a year or as time-consuming as hand stripping a show dog's coat. The West Highland White Terrier has a variety of names from its places of origin in the British Isles. Back as far as King James I in the early 1600s, the tough little white dogs were known and admired as the dogs of Argyllshire. The breed had its type established by Colonel Malcolm of Paltalock in the 1800s and, in fact, the West Highland White Terrier was called the Paltalock for a while and then the Roseneth Terrier after Colonel Politaka's farm. It appears that the Scottish Terrier, Cairn Terrier, and West Highland White Terrier all came from common stock with different fanciers culling different colors. The white dogs were easier to spot in the fields, and this was their big advantage. As with all the terrier breeds, the West Highland was bred as a vermin hunter. Everything from rats to foxes was fair game, and that is still true today. While most Westies enjoy favored status as family pets, they still compete in earth dog trials, and many still clear out moles or mice in their backyards.